Hi. I finally got around to editing some of my footage for my um, Krakow trip and I didn't really plan what I was going to do when I was there with my cameras. It was mainly just an exercise for me to get out and practice photography, try and learn some of the settings, take some time lapses and just mainly get some shots. So what I'm going to show you is it's just a collection of some of the shots that I thought were worth showing just to give you a flavour of what there is to see and do in Krakow. For my impression of the city, I was blown away. It was an awesome place, uh, really chilled out, important cultural and historical stuff to see. You've got the communist side of things, Nova Huta, a salt mine tour which we went on which I thought would be a lot cooler <laughs> than actually what it was. I was a little disappointed to be honest and it's a shame because it's an awesome site. It's potentially huge but I felt that our tour was a little bit rushed, random, like the end of the day they wanted to finish quickly. They didn't show us everything they could have and they certainly didn't explain a lot of what they could have and I think they concentrated on some of the wrong things. What they should have actually done shown us some of the salt mine production but uh, the best tour was the communist tour. That was fun. We did do a first tour, a, a walking tour around Krakow and, and that although that was informative and gave us a good lay of the land. We'd already seen most of it because we're the kind of people that once you land in a city you go outside and get your bearings, go for a walk. So we actually spent a whole day wandering around the city. So then ironically when we came to do the walking tour of Krakow uh, there wasn't that much that we saw on that tour otherwise. But if you're nervous about that kind of thing then yeah by all means I recommend the walking tour as well. The problem with that was there wasn't that much time to take a lot of shots. So a lot of the shots are shaky or rushed. And also the trick was, you know, I was trying to take pictures. But there I am grabbing shots of video in between. So I was constantly flicking between the modes, trying to grapple with different lenses <laughs> and um, teach myself DSLR videography and photography on the go. I don't recommend doing that. <laughs> But hey, you know, it was fun, it got me out and to see things. But the communist tour was definitely a highlight. Driving around in a Travant, sadly it was too shaky and too small for me to be able to, to film any of it. You were too busy hanging on to the car <laughs> and hoping that the car wouldn't stop, which it threatened to do pretty much at every moment. Uh, obviously we did the Jewish Quarter, which was lovely and and although it's obviously got a sad history. And we also did Auschwitz. And I haven't really got much footage from there. It's mainly pictures that I actually took there, partly out of respect for the events that have taken place there. And I feel it's been covered much better elsewhere, but also because um, they don't like you doing that. They don't like you filming there. So um, it was okay to take photos, but you have to remember that this place, it is a graveyard basically, and they treat it as such. They treat it as a memorial to those who sadly perished there. So it's, it's not a cool thing to do to walk around just filming all the time. And you have to keep up with the tour. I'd love to go there again and go there without the tour. But the actual city itself, really cool, laid back, especially around the old town and the planty tree-lined avenues. Yeah, it's a really cool place and I just thoroughly recommend it. I'd go back there again.
Why was I there? Well, the trip had been booked and paid for as a present for me a while ago, and I was not happy about doing the trip, so I pushed the trip back because of events with my father. I didn't feel I was ready for that, uh, especially to go around a death camp. But then it was a, a city I'd always wanted to see. But also uh, there's a, a part of a story floating around in my brain and it hasn't quite landed yet, ready to be written down. But it was mainly a surface research trip. So I don't know if you've done any research for writing, but the principle that I tend to work on is soak up a bit of the history of an area and get a good basis for the time period and, and the events that you're interested in finding out more about. Hiring tour guides and going on the one-on-one -on -one walking tours is a really good way of do it, doing it. It's better than uh, some of these audio tours where it's just pre-recorded drivel. It's much better to be able to ask people questions and, and get some information for anything that strikes you as unusual or, or not properly explained. And then the idea is that you go away from your trip and uh, I was making lots of notes as I was on these tours. So again, trying to write, juggle a camera between different modes and take shots and you can see why I didn't get as much footage as I could have. But I got some really good notes and definitely some places to start looking when the story becomes more cr concrete to flesh it out with more research and I'll probably end up going there again for the last parts of the uh, the story research if I don't feel it's authentic enough. But that's it, that's why I was in Krakow and, uh, and I thoroughly recommend it. So um, thanks a lot, bye.